Hey, it's Kyle here, and I am about to leave shortly to go to the airport. I can fly to Puerto Rico to see my family and to go on a cruise. I'm just really excited. I'm just gonna put my stuff away, check one more time, and I will get back to you whenever. So, bye. Hey, so it's Kyle here. I just got ready. I wanted to feel fresh and nice for the first new day, even though I'm probably just gonna be waiting. But yeah, now I'm just gonna go out and wait, and hopefully things will turn out good, I guess. So I guess we'll see. <laughs> so it's gonna be a crazy day, or crazy first half. Probably crazy full day since we still have to check in, but. Anyway, I'm just gonna go finish before I spend too much time here. So. Not even the United States. Right so. <laughs> now we're just gonna go. We're gonna get the luggage and then we're gonna find a place or a way to go to the cruise. It's birthday. And it's her birthday. It's her birthday. Ah! <laughs> oh, <it's> so cool. <laughs> We're gonna be going to eat now because I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. So cranky. So let's go eat something. So why she's counting is because we're walking on the 99 steps, which takes us from down there to where our tour guide's going to meet it with us. Fun fact, because even though there are 99 steps, there are four extra steps, so it's really 103 steps. But either way, we're not going to count that. 99 steps sounds better in my opinion. It's pretty cool. And my mom's actually counting it. I think it's Blackbeard's Tower or something like that.
Sir Francis Drake actually sat. Well, it's a replica, but he sat in this area all those years ago. So when I said it's like Uncharted, it's literally like Uncharted because of Sir Francis Drake. And that's why it's Drake's seat. So when I said it reminded me of Uncharted, I had a good reason to believe that. back on the ship to eat for now. First, I want to work out and then eat so I don't feel as guilty about it. But we don't know if we're going to go back out or not back on St. Thomas. But it's pretty fun. There was a lot of places to do. It felt amazing. Like Uncharted from all the high points or Francis Drake this year, which makes it even more real. It, it was really good for our first real island. Hopefully now we can just Is that it? We booked a, a shore excursion for 11. It is 9 o'clock right now, so we're just gonna go in and just walk around for now. And then after that, we're gonna go to the beach. Yeah.
Everything I needed for rain. Yeah. And the one time that rained, I didn't bring any of it. So right now we are eating. This is our last stop before going back on the cruise, I think. So the view's nice, so check it out. Breakfast time. you get good luck so I'm probably gonna like haunt the street or something like that. right now it's so cool because you guys have love roots and stuff like that so just look at it just look at that stonework most importantly the view let's get going ah. does everything on this cruise remind me of uncharted just the adventure just the scenery just everything it's just oh my god it's I love it, the ruins. 
Oh, I love this. I can't wait to do this after the military. Steps are like a degree angle. It's so hard. Oh my god. I mean, it was built on a hill, so. Welcome to day six of the cruise, which will be our last full day on the cruise. And we are in St. Martin. I'm gonna go get breakfast. And then after that, we disembark on an excursion. That takes four and a half hours. And then after that, I'm just gonna enjoy the last day that I'm on this cruise. Pretty simple day gonna miss it here though honestly just not worrying about work or anything but we all gotta go back to reality someday divide of the Dutch and the French sides of the island. It's pretty cool, so now we're just gonna go and take pictures in between each side. So. Over. In this row, this one's so crowded. of the tour and you know I'm never gonna do this again probably so yellow it and I'm climbing up this mountain 
very, very steep, loose rocks, but I'm pretty sure the view is gonna be 